Welcome to another Torah portion reading. This one is called A More, as in speak, and it is Leviticus 21, verse 1 through 24, verse 23. And this Torah portion is the Torah portion that Johnny, Johnny Mac was born under. So, happy birthday, Johnny Mac. All right, and we will begin. And Yahovah said to Moshe, Speak to the priests, the sons of Aaron, and say to them, None shall defile himself for the dead among his people, except for his relatives who are nearest to him, his mother, his father, his son, his daughter, and his brother. Also his virgin sister, who is near to him, who has had no husband, for her, he may defile himself. Otherwise he shall not defile himself, a chief man among his people, to profane himself. They shall not make any bald place on their heads, nor shall they shave the edges of their beards, nor make any cuttings in their flesh. They shall be holy to Elohim, and not profane the name of Elohim. For they offer the offerings of Yahovah, made by fire, and the bread of Elohim, therefore they shall be holy. They shall not take a wife who is a harlot or a defiled woman, nor shall they take a woman divorced from her husband, for the priest is holy, Leah Elohav. Therefore you shall consecrate him, for he offers the bread of Elohim. He shall be holy to you. For I, Yahovah, who sanctify you, am holy. The daughter of any priest, if she profanes herself by playing the harlot, she profanes her father. She shall be burned with fire. He who is the high priest among his brethren, on whose head the anointing oil was poured, and who is consecrated to wear the garments, shall not uncover his head, nor tear his clothes, nor shall he go near any dead body, nor defile himself for his father or his mother. Nor shall he go out of the sanctuary, nor profane the Oliphantov sanctuary of his Elohav, of Elohav. For the consecration of the anointing oil of Elohav is upon him, Ani Yahovah, and he shall take a wife in her virginity. A widow, or a divorced woman, or a defiled woman, or a harlot, these he shall not marry, but he shall take a virgin of his own people his wife. Nor shall he profane his posterity among his people, for I, Yahovah, sanctify him. Or ki ani Yahovah mekadsho. Kadosh is in the middle of that, which means holy. So I, Yahovah, make him holy. The God show. And Yahovah spoke to Moshe, saying, Speak to Aaron, saying, No man of your descendants in succeeding generations who has any defect may approach to offer the bread of Elohav. For any man who has a defect shall not approach. A man blind or lame, who has a marred face or any thing too long, a man who has a broken foot or broken hand, or is a hunchback, or a dwarf, or who has a defect in his eye, or eczema, or scab, or is a eunuch. No man of the descendants of Aaron, the priest, who has a defect, shall come near to offer the offerings made by fire to Yahovah. He has a defect. He shall not come near to offer the bread of Elohav et lechem Elohav al tov. He may eat the bread of Elohav, the most holy and the holy, only he shall not go near the veil or approach the altar because he has a defect, lest he profane my sanctuaries. Key. Ani Yahovah 
Makad Sham, for I, Yahovah, sanctified them. And Moshe told it to Aaron and his sons and to all the children of Israel. Chapter 22. Then Yahovah spoke to Moshe, saying, Speak to Aaron and his sons, that they separate themselves from the holy things of the children of Israel, and that they do not profane my holy name by what they dedicate to me. And he, Yahovah, say to them, Whoever of all the descendants throughout your generations who goes near the holy things which the children of Israel dedicate to Yahovah while he has uncleanness upon him, that person shall be cut off from my presence. Ani Yahovah. Whatever man of the descendants of Aaron who is a leper or has a discharge shall not eat the holy offerings until he is clean. And whoever touches anything made unclean by a corpse or a man who has had an emission of semen or whoever touches any creeping thing by which he would be made clean, unclean or any person by whom he would become unclean, whatever his uncleanness may be, the person who has touched any such thing shall be unclean until evening and shall not eat the holy unless he washes his body with water. And when the sun goes down, he shall be clean, and afterward he may eat the holy because it is his food. Whatever dies or is torn, he shall not eat to defile himself with it. Ani Yahovah. They shall therefore guard my ordinance, lest they bear sin for it and die thereby, if they profane it. <clears throat> Ani Yahovah. Makad Sham. I, I am Yahovah who sanctifies them. No outsider shall eat the holy. One who dwells with the priest or a hired servant shall not eat the holy thing. But if the priest buys a person with his money, he may eat it. And one who is born in his house may eat his food. If the priest's daughter is married to an outsider, she may not eat of the holy offerings. But if the priest's daughter is a widow or divorced and has no child and has returned to her father's house as in her youth, she may eat her father's food, but no outsider shall eat it. And if a man eats the holy unintentionally, then he shall restore a holy offering to the priest and add one-fifth to it. They shall not profane the holy of the children of Israel, which they offer to Yahovah. Or allow them to bear the guilt of trespass when they eat their holy. For I, Yahovah, sanctify them. Ki ani Yahovah, makad sham. And Yahovah spoke to Moshe, saying, Speak to Aaron and his sons, and to all the children of Israel, and say to them, Whatever man of the house of Israel, or of the strangers in Israel, who offers a sacrifice for any of his vows, or for any of his free will offerings which they offer to Yahovah as a burnt offering of your own free will will a male without blemish from the cattle from the sheep or from the goats whatever has a defect you shall not offer for it shall not be acceptable on your behalf and whoever offers a sacrifice of a peace offering to Yahovah to fulfill his vow or a free will offering from the cattle or the sheep, it must be perfect to be accepted. There shall be no defect in it. Those that are blind or broken or maimed, or have an ulcer or eczema or scabs, you shall not offer to Yahovah, nor make an offering by fire of them on the altar to Yahovah. Either a bull or a lamb that has any lamb too long or too short you may offer as a free will offering, but for a vow it shall not be accepted. You shall not offer to Yahovah what is bruised or crushed, or torn or cut, nor shall you make any offering of them in your land, nor from a foreigner's hand shall you offer any of these as the bread of Elohim, because their corruption is in them and defects are in them. They shall not be accepted on your behalf.
And Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, When a bull or a sheep or a goat is born, it shall be seven days with its mother. And from the eighth day and thereafter it shall be accepted as an offering made by fire to Yahovah. Whether it is a cow or you, do not kill both her and her young on the same day. And when you offer a sacrifice of thanksgiving to Yahovah, offer it of your own free will. On the same day it shall be eaten. You shall leave none of it until morning. Ani Yahovah. Therefore you shall keep my commandments and perform them. Ani Yahovah. You shall not profane my holy name, but I will be hallowed among the children of Israel. Ani Yahovah. Makad, ma, makadish Chem. I am Yahovah who sanctifies you, you plural, who brought you out of the land of Egypt to be to you Elohim. Ani Yahovah. Chapter 23. And Yahovah spoke to Moshe, saying, Speak to the children of Israel and say to them, The feast of Yahovah. These you shall proclaim to be holy convocations. These are my feasts. Never once in this chapter does it say feasts to the Jews. Six days shall work be done, but the seventh day is a Sabbath of solemn rest, a holy convocation. You shall do no work on it. It is the Sabbath of Yahovah in all your dwellings. These are the feasts of Yahovah, holy convocations which you shall proclaim at their appointed times. On the fourteenth day of the first month at twilight is the Passover to Yahovah, Pesach, the Yahovah. And on the fifteenth day of the same month is the feast of unleavened bread to Yahovah. Seven days you must eat unleavened bread. On the first day, you shall have a holy convocation. You shall do no customary work on it. But you shall offer an offering made by fire to Yahovah for seven days. The seventh day shall be a holy convocation. You shall do no customary work on it. And Yahovah spoke to Moshe, saying, Speak to the children of Israel and say to them, When you come into the land which I give to you, and reap its harvest, then you shall bring an omer, of the first fruits of your harvest to the priest. He shall wave the omer before Yahovah to be accepted on your behalf. On the day after the Sabbath, the priest shall wave it. And you shall offer on that day, when you wave the omer, a male lamb of the first year without blemish as a burnt offering to Yahovah. Its grain offering shall be two tenths of an ephah, or one gallon, a fine flour mixed with oil, an offering made by fire to Yahovah for a sweet aroma, and its drink offering shall be of wine. One fourth of a hen. You shall eat neither bread, nor parched grain, nor fresh grain until the same day that you have brought an offering to Elohim. It shall be a statute forever throughout your generations in all your dwellings. And you shall count for yourself from the day after the Sabbath, from the day that you brought the omer of the wave offering, seven Sabbaths shall be completed. Count fifty days to the day after the seventh Sabbath. Then you shall offer a new grain offering to Yahovah. You shall bring from your dwellings two wave loaves of two tenths of an ephah. They shall be of fine flour. They shall be baked with leaven. They are the first fruits to Yahovah. And you shall offer with the bread seven lambs of the first year without blemish, one young bull and two rams. They shall be as a burnt offering to Yahovah with their grain offering and their drink offerings, an offering made by fire for a sweet aroma to Yahovah. Then you shall sacrifice one kid of the goats as a sin offering and two male lambs of the first year as a sacrifice of a peace offering. 
The priest shall wave them with the bread of the first fruits as a wave offering before Yahovah with the two lambs. They shall be holy to Yahovah for the priest. And you shall proclaim on the self same on the same day that it is a holy convocation to you. You shall do no customary work on it. It shall be a statute forever in all your dwellings throughout your generations. When you reap the harvest of your land, you shall not wholly reap the corners of your field when you reap, nor shall you gather any gleanings from your harvest. You shall leave them for the poor and for the stranger. Ani Yahovah Elohim. Then Yahovah spoke to Moshe, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, saying, In the seventh month, on the first day of the month, you shall have a Sabbath rest, a memorial of blowing of trumpets, a holy convocation. You shall do no customary work on it, and you shall offer an offering made by fire to Yahovah. And Yahovah spoke to Moshe, saying, Also the tenth day of the seventh month shall be the day of atonement. It shall be a holy convocation for you. You shall afflict your souls and offer an offering made by fire to Yahovah. And you shall do no work on that same day, for it is the day of atonement. To make atonement for you before Yahovah Elohim. For any person who is not afflicted in soul on that same day shall be cut off from his people. And any person who does any work on that same day that person I will destroy from among his people. You shall do no manner of work. It shall be a statute forever throughout your generations and all your dwellings. It shall be to you a Sabbath of solemn rest and, a, and you shall afflict your souls on the ninth day of the month at evening from evening to evening you shall celebrate your Sabbath. Then Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, saying, The fifteenth day of this seventh month shall be the Feast of Tabernacles for seven days to Yahovah. On the first day there shall be a holy convocation. You shall do no customary work on it. For seven days you shall offer an offering made by fire to Yahovah. On the eighth day you shall have a holy convocation and you shall offer an offering made by fire to Yahovah. It is a sacred assembly, and you shall do no customary work on it. These are the feasts of Yahovah, which you shall proclaim to be holy convocations, to offer an offering made by fire to Yahovah, a burnt offering and a grain offering, a sacrifice and drink offerings, everything on its day, besides the Sabbaths of Yahovah, Besides your gifts, besides all your vows, and besides all your free will offerings which you give to Yahovah. Also on the fifteenth day of the seventh month, when you have gathered in the fruit of the land, you shall keep the feast of Yahovah for seven days. On the first day there shall be a Sabbath rest, and on the eighth day a Sabbath rest. And you shall take for yourselves on the first day the fruit of beautiful trees, branches of palm trees, the boughs of leaf, leafy trees, and willows of the brook. And you shall rejoice before Yahovah Elohim for seven days. You shall keep it as a feast to Yahovah for seven days in the year. It shall be a statute forever in your generations. You shall celebrate it in the seventh month. You shall dwell in booths for seven days. All who are native Israelis, Israelites shall dwell in booths, that your generations may know that I made the children of Israel dwell in booths when I brought them out of the land of Egypt. Ani Yahovah Elohim. So Moses declared to the children of Israel the feasts of Yahovah. Chapter 24 And Yahovah spoke to Moshe, saying, Command the children of Israel that they bring to you pure oil of pressed olives for the light, to make the lamps burn continually. Ner Tamid. Outside the veil of the testimony, in the tabernacle of meeting, Aaron shall be in charge of it, 
from evening until morning before Yahovah continually tamid. It shall be a statute forever in your generations. He shall be in charge of the lamps on the pure gold lampstand before Yahovah continually. Lifne Yahovah tamid. You shall take fine flour and bake twelve cakes with it. Two tenths of an ephah shall be in each cake. You shall set them in two rows, six in a row, on the pure gold table before Yahovah. And you shall put pure frankincense on each row, that it may be on the bread for a memorial, an offering made by fire to Yahovah. Every Sabbath he shall set it in order before Yahovah continually, from the children of Israel by an everlasting covenant. And it shall be for Aaron and his sons, and they shall eat it in a holy place, for it is most holy to him from the offerings of Yahovah made by fire, by a perpetual statute. Now the son of an Israelite woman, whose father was an Egyptian, went out among the children of Israel. And this Israelite's son and a man of Israel fought each other in the camp. And the Israelite woman's son blasphemed the name and cursed. And so they brought him to Moshe. His mother's name was Shilamit, the daughter of Dibri, of the tribe of Dan. Then they put him in custody, that the mind of Yahovah might be shown to them. And Yahovah spoke to Moshe, saying, Take outside the camp him who is cursed, and let all who heard him Lay their hands on his head, and let all the congregation stone him. Then you shall speak to the children of Israel, saying, Whoever curses Elohav shall bear his sin, and whoever blasphemes the name of Yahovah shall surely be put to death. All the congregation shall certainly stone him, the stranger as well as him who is born in the land. When he blasphemes the name, he shall be put to death. Whoever kills any man shall surely be put to death. Whoever kills an animal shall make it good, animal for animal. If a man causes disfigurement of his neighbor, as he has done, so shall it be done to him. Fracture for fracture, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, as he has caused disfigurement of a man, so shall it be done to him. And whoever kills an animal shall restore it. But whoever kills a man shall be put to death. You shall have the same law for the stranger, and for one from whom, uh, and and for one from your own country. For I am Yahovah Elohim. Then Moshe spoke to the children of Israel, and they took outside the camp him who had cursed, and stoned him with stones. So the children of Israel. Did as Yahovah commanded Moshe. The Haftor portion is Ezekiel 44, verse 15 through 31. Shavuatov! Have a good week!